Hello and welcome in Knitting Mauritius in my podcast. Today I will show you a few pictures of Ganesh Chaturji festival which is celebrated uh, by Hindu people not only here in Mauritius but all around the world. It is celebrated on the, in the honor of uh, the birth of uh, God Ganesh and of Ganesha and um, People in Mauritius, especially, they walk on the beach from temple to temple, praying uh, to Ganesha and um, hoping for good prosperity in the houses. Here you can see um, my uh, new shawl. Uh, the name is Bea Shawl. It will be published on the 30th September. Um, it is made with manchelopi yarns and uh, have special finish special touch it's this one is made for my friend beata who is living to canada i hope you enjoy my podcast thank you very much for watching hello and welcome in knitting in mauritius that's my channel on youtube uh, also i'm called knitting in mauritius on instagram uh, my name is anna and i'm living in mauritius the small island on the indian ocean since many 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 years and which i'm still enjoying <laughs> even though that uh, my family is very far from me but i have my kids here my husband my um, knitting my five dogs three cats one is new um, 12 hens uh, two tortoise many now parrots because they're breeding uh, very quickly <laughs> and yes and that's i think and that's all maybe i forget about some kind of animals which we have here um welcome here welcome on in my channel uh welcome back welcome new people thank you very much for joining me last uh month and thank you very much also for joining me on instagram um, I'm very happy to be in contact with all of you. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to meet new people and I feel very fortunate to get in contact with so many of you. Thank you so much. So I don't like normally this introduction too much. It's taking so much time. Now it's two minutes. So I will just start to talk about knitting today. What I'm wearing, it is a gamma top from... Um, Manos de Uruguay. It is knitted in um, Road to China light uh, and there I need the help. Uh, in 50 gram hang there is 65% uh, baby alpaca, 10% cashmere, 15% silk and 10% camel in this, in this yarn. Uh, my, this yarn is amazing. I was having six hangs of this in uh, five different colors. Uh, so what I did, I uh, did, there are some stripes, I will just show you. Um, I did the lower stripe, I combined two hangs, so I put 100 gram in the lower part and then I was knitting everywhere to nearly finish the hang. Um, I got very little yarn left. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in between my uh, my leftovers, my you know my basket with some small cats. Uh, the yellow, the mustard color, I was having the most left because the design started here. So I kept knitting, and for the um, for the neckline here, you didn't need so much yarn. So I. Uh, Oh, sorry. So I was, um, I have a little bit more left, but I cannot do much with it. I will combine once to a, a sort of um, mix and match hat or something like this. Like I was doing sometimes something before I, I was recording. I will show you one day all these goodies, which I did it before. So this is a one, two, three, four, five colors of um, the Road to China Light. And I don't remember the names. I will just stand up and I will show you the pattern. But here I will just add the uh, picture. You can see now the picture of the 
the vest, the sleepover. And you can see now my version of it. I did very tiny little um, changes in it, but I did it. So um, this doesn't look so here look like it's a it's a next step, but it's normally it's not on a camera, but in, it's it's a straight line normally. Okay, I'm standing up and I will show you from the bottom. From the bottom, I did this part, this part in two hanks. This is a hundred gram of yarn to China. And I love it very much, the color of the yarn. It's like a brownish color mixed with bluish uh, tones. It's amazing. I love very, very much this one. Uh, and <clears throat> here you're supposed to do this differently. You're supposed to make you're supposed to not do this over um, the gather. You should not make here. You should supposed to finish the gather here and then go with this pattern. But I did went over and I have a, like a bridge here with gather stitch. So this is one one uh, change in this with the split uh, split hem. I needed them in the same length, like it was in the pattern, but much longer, much longer, because they are 100 grams instead of 50 grams. Here, as you can see, the next part is in a garden, and you have to change, as far I remember, you have to change here size of the needle to smaller, because the garden is more bumpy than this pattern here, uh, this stitch here. Uh, I did it with one hang, 50 grams. Here is another one, here is another one, and here is another one. Everywhere is different stitch. But this glittery decoration was not at all in this pattern. I just decided to give uh, this slip of a, a bit more uh, different look. And these bubbles also was not existing on this pattern, as you saw in the picture. So I added bubbles and I added them in two rows, two different rows, uh, just to give a bit of something, dif different look, different type. Here, from here on, I did everything the same. I did shorter, I think, uh, uh, sleeve because it will hang very low. I think I made the size two. And uh, it is really big, big, loose uh, vest, but I love it very much at home. Actually, I will, I will tell you seriously, I'm wearing it without um, pants at home when nobody here, because it's sort of short dress for me. So um, yeah, and uh, it's, I'm enjoying very much. It's very airy. Uh, and uh, but it's also not showing the bra, so it's uh, very airy but warm also. So this is my road to China. The yarn is coming from Peru, and um, um, and and there was something else I wanted to see. Yes, and they have on a, a website this Fiber Fiber Co Limited, I think, company. And they have twenty six colors on the website. I don't remember the names, but you can see. Uh, amazing colors there and amazing combinations like the one in the bottom here is like a brownish bluish uh, it's a super effect super so in one hang it's 145 meters uh, 159 yards and I used for this one 870 nearly 870 because I just left uh, with the yellow uh, maybe 860 meters on it so wonderful wonderful top knitted maybe two years ago two and a half years ago one of my um, first vest i think like this and uh, i'm enjoying still it's not peeling i would say it's not peeling at all it's a great yarn uh, and because of the silk because of the camel because the, uh, of the cashmere alpaca uh, it's a luxurious yarn and it's very, very, very 
uh, warm and very beautiful to wear it. So this is my gamma top from Manos de Uruguay. Made a long time ago, but I wanted to show you. And now I will show you my finish, um, finish shawl, which I, it was, I showed you last time. It was nearly done. I was having, I think, two rows and bite off uh, to do um, in the last podcast, but now it's finished, washed, blocked, and it's just fantastic. There is something which I would like to say about it, uh, which I found very strange on the end of the day, because on the picture of uh, Hohi uh, Locatelli, it doesn't look like this bend on the top, but I think it's a, it's it's just well done because the gauge is the same and um, because I was thinking it will be more straightish on the top, like on the picture so for Hohi, I will send, put the picture now. Okay, and now you can see my shawl. So what I mean here, this is very roundy. I mean, it's very, yeah, but anyway, it doesn't matter. It's um, lying beautifully on the neck. The shawl is finished. It's using three colors. Uh, this is Chaco, this is Wolf Grey, and this is Champagne. And it is just, for me, it is just amazing shawl, which is uh, even free of charge, the pattern on Hoi Locatelli or Ravelry um, uh, shop, Ravelry, Ravelry shop. <laughs> and so the pattern is free of charge, you can download anytime. I think it's amazing, amazing, amazing shawl. Um, you can, you know, you can um, put different ways on your on your neck, like this, or you can put another way, upside down, the white on top and the uh, dark gray on the bottom, um, or putting on the the ends on the on your back. I love this show so much because it's also made out of one of the, my most amazing, no, not, sorry, not my, one of, one of the most amazing yarns in my opinion. And price-wise also uh, very affordable. And uh, as you, when you're watching me already, if you uh, podcast, you always know I'm talking about this yarn. Is, it is made with the Galerians, this is the tag, Galerians, and so for, again, I will tell you, um, it is super, 100% super fine alpaca made in Peru. The alpaca is living 13,000 feet above the sea level in the mountains and um, in Andi, Ants, and um, so, the yardage is 660 yards, that means it's 603 meters in it. The weight of the one skein, now it's a cake here, so I have many of them here, so I don't know, okay, I will show you like this. Um, weight of this is 227 grams. And my shawl with the three colors, is weighing 593 so not even one ball of the cake one hang of the cake is put into the shawl equivalent of it uh, i do a lot of knitting with this yarn i do pullover for my mom i do i did pullover for me here is this one i do a lot of knitting with the yarn and i i have in plan to knit a lot it's one of the most soft yarns for me. Uh, in my opinion, it's even better than cashmere. I love cashmere, but this is this is the dream. And uh, I ordered many colors. I will show you all colors today, which I have. Um, and wanted to tell you that you can use it um, for this shawl. You can use it, so when it's 590, uh, 200, 200 and 200 uh, grams of some 
nearly decay yarns and you have an amazing shawl. Or you can make it in one color. Hoi was doing in three colors, like I saw also in three colors on some projects. But uh, I think one day I will do it uh, in one color. Uh, this is the another way you can use it. You see, you can put it this way. And you have a shawl, three colors coming like, like, uh, like this. So this one is for my friend, uh, which is living actually in uh, London, in uh, England. And she is also living here, but she was injured. She cannot come back. So she will be spending her Christmas in uh, Europe. So I will send this one to her. Um, um, I got in love. And I will be jumping between, <laughs> um, like usual, you know, my pod podcasts are very crazy and not organized well. But I will jump now to work in progress because I started, I would like to show you, I started uh, another one and I'm thinking this will be for me, but who knows? So this is the one which I'm knitting right now. Sorry, it's... Uh, which I'm knitting right now in another color. This color is just a dream. But what I did, I uh, to avoid this uh, really roundish, roundish top here. I mean, yes, it will be still roundish, but I, it will be a bit more stretchy here. Uh, what I did, I add here some uh, yarn overs. You will see this better later in a, when it will, oh, here. When, yes, now you can see. When it will be blocked. Just to give more, as you can see, more straight um, effect. But I don't mind the first one. It's great. And this will be a bit more straightish on the top. Um, and I, so, so, I will be anyway happy. I love this yarn so much. It is so easy in it also. Uh, so this will be the first color. I don't know what I will add the next color because this is the color. I will put all the color names here later on the top. You will see. Because uh, I don't know what I will put the next because I don't know if this will be for me or the another one will be for me or the third one will be for me. It is a plan to need... Um, uh, definitely four, one for me, one for my mom, one for another friend, and maybe for another friend also before Christmas. So um, definitely four, uh, definitely three, one extra, maybe four, uh, when I will be uh, okay with it. Then I need to need one shawl, uh, very basic. I will do very basic a rectangle shawl with this yarn for a man. And I want to do also a um, raglan uh, pullover for my husband for Christmas. So I have a lot of knitting and a lot of knitting in the same yarn. That's why I'm jumping now to the yarn and to also acquisitions at the same time. So I will show you what colors I have. I have this one. I will just put the name on the top. Then I have this one. It just arrived. It's amazing. It's a white and sort of gray mix together. Then I have, sorry, my balls are not great because um, they are big when you need to uh, make a cake. And uh, my kids were helping me, so it was not really uh, growing, working beautifully. So this is another color. So that's the three. Um, Done. You know the chaco already, you saw before. I like on this one I like the halo. Then I have another color of, to compare to this one is uh, different. And I have one more I will show you. Bit of pinkish in this. How to do this now? Because it's wrongly made the ball. And, 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 there is, okay, this I put down and I will come back. So I showed you this, but I have also a 
very similar color. I mean, they have, these two are very similar. This is more little creamy and this is more white, the top one. So they are, they will also make beautiful pullover together, uh, pullover the shawl together, or with the gray on the bottom. So let's see, I have a gray, light gray. This ball is terrible, but don't worry, everything will be in use. And now I will show you so yes, it's three more. So that's my colors, that's my crazy me. I needed to have many of this. I have a gray like this. Then I have the wolf uh, gray, which I used for the shawl. Then I have, this is sorry for the ball, but the color is amazing, the blue. Which I told you last time I ordered the blue color also. So um, this will be my colors, which I can mi mix and match, make a uh, pullover for my husband, make one color shawl for a uh, friend of us, who husband of my friend in from England, and um, and the the three definitely four, sorry, definitely four of um, a three definitely maybe four for blah blah, blah again. Then I will do. Uh, I have a lot of yarn of this of this Prima Paca from Galerians, and I will make this pullover and definitely three, maybe four of uh, this uh, Odyssey shawls from Hoi and um, then the one for the male or again my friend of my ass for, for Christmas. So uh, I love this yarn so much that as you can see I got a bit crazy about this and this was also my st um, stash but also my acquisitions in, at the same time I was showing you. So now I will show you a finish, another finish uh, shawl, another finish item, which I did start and did finish in the time between this pod last podcast and this podcast. Um, uh, because uh, my friend, I get to know my friend is living to uh, Canada from Hot Mauritius to Cold Canada. And uh, she asked me to uh, need for her a shawl so which I did and I just finished I just uh, took some photographs and I will give it to her I think on Monday um, I have also ordered for from her for a hat I will just show you my cast on uh, I don't know it's a it's a bit uh, work with this I, I didn't make hats for a long time and I I sort of cannot get uh, used to this more circumstances, a circum circle. But I will do it. I will do it. I think it's starting to rain soon in my house. So what I did, I did a shawl for her, for my friend, especially. It is, a, it, you see, it's again the same system like uh, by Hohi. It's also going here it's supposed to be more straightish that's why i made the increases of the yarn overs, but still was not enough i supposed to make one more increase but okay i like it even like this because it's uh, showing uh, the triangular uh, shapes a little bit so this is uh, you're starting here and you're adding stitches every second row and you have three rows of yarn overs to add stitches and the shawl is growing it's growing and it's ending with a sort of bell bell uh, rib on the bottom or on the top because actually you can wear it this shawl in different ways i will send, put some pictures here also you can put the shawl like this course so okay so you will have a beautiful warm shawl for uh, winter times okay so you can put the shawl like this and you can just enjoy my chat right now <laughs> and i will show you the another ways you can wear it it is made out of of uh, manchelopi i will show you the yarn 
I used for it. One color, second color. I mean, I used one color, but I, I what I have this yarns. Sorry, I have four colors in my in my st uh, stock in my cupboards in my room in my art room. Uh, pinkish, greenish, uh, the gray which I use here, and it's the same color. And a bluish, which I did uh, with this manchalopi, I did uh, once um, ranunculus for my mom. Uh, sort of like a vest she would be wearing in the winter time. It became very beautiful. beautiful. So this is my manchalopis. Manchalopi yarn is coming from, from Spain. And it is sold in cakes, like the um, Nutrigen yarn or Plotolopi yarn, um, or maybe there is more, which I don't know, but uh, Plotolopi is um, packed, it's made in one string. Um, Manchel, um, Nutrigen is also rolled in one string, which Nutrigen is very fine yarn, very fine unspun yarn. And uh, I need always to work with two strands. So I always, um, as you saw in the podcast before, I always make a big ball first to reach to the two strings to be together. Manchalopi for this is, uh, for me, amazing yarn, very spongy very spongy, very, um, also very uh, uh, elastic, I would say, very forgiving when you do knit with it. Um, it's not like, from in my opinion, it's not like nutrition, which is nutrition breaking for me quite often. And this is doesn't break so often. I have to really pull strongly. Uh, and it is caked in with two strands already so you don't need to do any extra balls or something with it when you want to knit nice and warm shawl or garment they have nine colors in the shop it is coming from spain it is coming from with from spain spanish uh, ships and um, they have nine colors. I have four colors here. Plus this, uh, where it is now? Oh, plus the blue, oh, four, four colors here. I have, uh, and I'm enjoying really, really to work with this yarn. It is very warm. It is uh, water and wind resistant, of course, like all this woolly, woolly yarns. And uh, it will keep you warm and it keep my friend warm in uh, Canada all the time. I'm very happy that I needed it for her. I used here exactly two cakes, exactly two cakes like this. I was sort of looking that I don't break into third. She is a bit uh, smaller than me in size, so definitely the shawl will be good for her and it's already good for me, so it will be good for her. I used two cakes like this. Each cake is 100 grams and each cake is 100, uh, 460 meters. So 100 grams, 460 meters. So I used here eight, 920, 920 meters for this shawl using two cakes. Um, you can, I will put it all away. You can wear it because it's double, uh, double stranded. It's, it's very warm. And you don't really need to hold any other yarn with it, like for example, mohair or... You can do it for the color changes and for the color uh, uh, gradation maybe or something like this, of course. But she wanted to have in one color and very, very um, natural colors. So she came and she chose the colors. This is the way, this is the uh, increases how it looks. I made eye cord on each side and then the increases here by yarn overs. Then you have the yarn overs for the increase, extra increases in the body of the shawl. Um, 
I did, we are on the wrong side, I did the bell, uh, bell rib, bell rib on the bottom and stretch bind off here. So this pattern uh, you will be able to buy on Ravelry, it will be soon uh, uh, published. Um, it will be not too expensive because it's not so difficult uh, need, but just it will be uh, for the just for the writing of the pattern. Uh, I will charge small amount of money. It will be um, uh, the I think end of uh, the week on a Friday. That I think Friday is the thirty. So you can wear it in different ways. You can you can put it this way. I mean the bottom part around your shoulders and you have just basic shawl also and it looks a bit, bit um, sort of um, triangular on the back side and um, I mean it's giving you a lot of warmth you can wrap it around yourself and you can put a knot here on the back mm, sorry you can put a knot around okay like this and you can knit it a longer version, which I will uh, add to the pattern. I will explain to you how to knit an even longer version that it's more yarn. You can use the third cake and I will tell you how many stitches you have to add to come back to this uh, uh, belly rib and to bind off. And then you will be uh, maybe happy owner of even bigger shawl. You can wear it this way. Any type of wearing of this shawl is possible. I'm very happy with it and I will be knitting just now, uh, I mean, not, not just now, after the Christmas gifts and one hour may be uh, in uh, time. I will still knit one for my mom uh, for Poland to keep, that she will keep warm in the winter time in Poland. So this is my pattern and my, uh, my new Finnish item also and i'm very happy my friend i sent her pictures because my son just was doing some pictures before the podcast think now because before the recording i sent her pictures and um, she's very happy so she wants to pick it up very quickly <laughs> a very warm very very warm uh shot i think she'll be enjoying all these shawls you can also um, use a brooch and like me I will just fix it here now and and you can wear it in your in your way with a brooch. So you can have it one arm out, one arm covered. Yeah, you can do whatever you want with this kind of shawls. What I have in on my needles now, I something for her, for my friend. I, she chose these two yarns and I started uh, to make for her a brioche hat. I have my own sort of recipe for brioche hats since few years because I did for my uh, family and um, and uh, yes I just follow my own way just cast on just set the first row and then I'm keeping going knitting in around with two colors or with one color brioche and then I sort of have some system also for uh, making the crown, reducing the stitches. Uh, I never use any pattern, I don't know, for for brioche, I just think for a hat I can do it on my own. Uh, and she chose uh, these two yarns to, that I hold the yarns together. I'm holding these two together. This is the Alpaca, 100% Alpaca Eco Baby brushed uh, from Gabo Wool. Uh, Gabo Wool is from Poland, Jan is from, um, Alpaca is from Peru. 
as I told you last time, I don't know if they produce, the, the, they have the fleece and they produce the yarn there or, or they just mark the yarn as Polish yarn. Um, but yarn is beautiful, so it is colorway. Oco tested also, eco tested, uh, color. Hmm. Excuse me. FTE thirteen zero one. So that's the hundred percent um, alpaca which I'm using for the hat, and this is uh, from Knit Peaks. Um, colorway AL2 and this is fingering finger finger weight palette from Knit Peaks uh, and it is 231 yards in 50 gram. What is this? It is 100% Peruvian Highlands wool. So this and this is such a mirrored uh, color she choose so we holding it together i'm holding these two colors together i i cast it on yesterday and i must say i was having the too long wire i didn't want to work a uh, magic loop <laughs> so i took my uh, 12 inch circular needles and I'm still working on it. I don't know if this is the right way I should do it, but I'm still doing something. Then I will put the barber cut and I will try uh, on my head if the size is good. She is very tiny girl and she is having very tiny head. So uh, this looks very tiny, but it's not actually. Um, I'm using now four and a half millimeters needles. Normally I use five and a half for my pattern, for my uh, recipe for my uh, uh, brioche hats. But I use also worsted weight, yeah. This is a fingering, hold with a fingering. It makes what, decay. And um, yeah, this is the yarn, this is the combination. This is the cast on. I'm not really happy also with the mix with the yarns. I don't know. But it will match her shawl, sort of. I think I will keep going. It's funny, a hat on such a nice small circle. But uh, it is really stretchy. I mean, it's really a lot of stitches here. So I will put on barber coat soon and I will see barber coat and I will see how big it is in fact. But I will do two, three more rows just to make it more sure that it's the size coming. I think I will, I have one more week. I think I will make this hat for her because she just the colors. And I think maybe I will do another hat for her as gift, um, a bit more colorful or something like this. You know, I, uh, I don't know, I don't really, like this color combination i don't know but it's coming well out let's see how is the size so this is the um my recipe one color brioche hat for my friend coming up soon not too happy for the moment but sometimes i'm not happy with my cast ons or with even uh, ready ready needed garment or, or shawl and when I wash it and I'm blocking, it's just like the, the, the dream coming to so. So I think it's sometimes, uh, I have to wait. I have to still work. I have to overwork a little bit more, one or two more, three more rows, put on barber cut and try on my son's head. And then it, I think it will be giving me the idea how this is. Um, so this is my work in progress for the moment. Another work in progress is the shawl odyssey from Hohi Lokatili, which I will um, do more of them. This uh, you will see much more until December, much more of the shawls. 
Last year I was giving uh, uh, pullovers, the ranunculus pullover to my friends. This year I will be giving uh, the Odyssey shorts to my friends and my mom and myself because I love it. <laughs> so I wanted to, to uh, show you what I, a part of the uh, uh, Galerians, the extra colors, 100% uh, uh, prime alpaca acquire. I acquired also two different yarns from Chink Fibers and uh, this was um, uh, Priode, yeah, they called Priode. They were having this, uh, I think, summer collection it was and I didn't like the yarns in, no, the colors in the yarns bases which they were having. So I was waiting for the pre-order. I realized always after after one sale, they have a pre-order later. So uh, I was waiting and in fact, they did it. So uh, the, um, the colorways fees, fees something. Uh, they always write the names by hand and I cannot read it. Uh, I ordered uh, this one in three, Hanks, the colorway is free something, and this is the base is Rapunzel Decay. It is um, sixty-five percent silk, twenty-two percent kit mohair, and nine percent polyamide. It's three hundred fifty meters, one hundred gram a hang, and. I I am planning to do a summer top for me. I have three of them, so I think it will be sort of loosely made uh, V-neck top with three quarter length sleeves, something like this. I love it very much. I used this yarn already for my um, I was sitting on the one hang in the yellow, which color uh, I used for the good vibe shawl. And I cannot separate myself from this yarn, uh, from the shawl now, because the yarn is so good and it's so fantastic to, to wear it, to put next to your skin, that I needed now one for my body. So this colorway, it's for my body for some, I think v-neck, some uh, light top, but with long sleeves or three quarters. And then I got also this one, which I like very much. The, the, uh, this is the base pearl. It's, I think many companies carry now this uh, base with different names of the base, but uh, it is sort of knobby. It is sort of like a, a zigzag here. It is 90% superwash merino and 10% nylon. In this one is 400 meters, it's 100 gram hang. And I like the color. And this will be also a summer top. I have only two of this, 800 meters. It will be summer top, maybe um, sort of drop shoulders. Summer top with short sleeves, uh, something very light that I can put on and, and with a big, uh, needles that I can put over my bikinis in the summer. I love the color very much and it will go well with uh, some beach parties also. So the color way is sorbet. This I could read. <laughs> so that's my acquisitions and um, I think that's this will be that's it for today. I know as you can see here there is many things I want to talk to you, but sort of I'm not coming to this kind of podcast uh, because I'm always knitting and I'm always designing something and I'm always having something in my head. Um, now I will uh, be writing the another part, no, correcting and, and, and fixing the another pattern from before and I would like to um, publish them. This will come on Friday the 30th of September out, uh, just that you can uh, need. There are two, there is a, a 
to uh, calls but one actually you can when you need this shawl you can enter it is from selma from a little big needs podcast she's having from the 1st september to the 31st of uh, january a call need something with uh, anspanian so this is very easy need very basic need and um you can try to need something like this um with two cakes from Mantilopi or equivalent of the same weight and yardage of uh, Plotolopi or Nutigen, something like this. Yeah, I like this colors very much. I like the colors more of Nutigen. Nutigen has very raffiné colors. Uh, these are more basic colors, but um, still very beautiful and the yarn here i think i like more because it's more spongy more forgiving and very easy to knit with it i will leave you now i would like to say thank you so much for watching and um thank you very much for purchasing my patterns when you are doing time to time i can see thank you so so much and um uh, yeah, I will uh, hopefully soon record another podcast with the ideas and the many of uh, um, good inspirations for you, I think. Uh, at least they are inspirations for me, which I would like to share with you. Um, it's still waiting here, everything. <laughs> and as you can see, I very much like to record here. Uh, the light is not so great, but I hope today it will be better than the last time. Last time was a bit milky, uh, the uh, uh, movie, but uh, let's see this time. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you very, very much. Ah, this shawl, the name will be... Um, what? What I can give the name? Bea, because she's Beata. Let's say Bea Shal. It will be Bea Shal? <laughs> because it was made for a Boashal. It will be published soon. Bye. See you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.